Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's going on, everybody? Today, I'm hanging out with Brian. We got the old Chevys. We're gonna do some work on them. Go to junkyard, get a few parts. This thing looks really good with the new wheels on it. I've never been in this truck, guys. It's gonna give me a ride in it. Then we're gonna go junk here and get a few parts maybe do a few things Alright guys, so the truck is making some weird noise like when you drove, like hit the gas, like if the brakes are rubbing, like metal on metal. So before we get started on the stuff we have planned for the day, we're going to pull the wheels off. As you see, we've already done on this side. He's pulling the one off the driver's side. We're going to pull these drums off and inspect the brakes. See what the heck is going on here. Wow, I've never had rotors or drums fight this bad. I know. These probably never been off. Probably. All right, not. guys, so we're gonna get these drums off. Oh, shit. No Alright guys, so as you can see we fought on this thing forever. It's been an hour. About an hour. And we got both sides off. We already adjusted the other one. That one wasn't as bad as this side. But when we got it off, the spring that holds the shoe on wasn't even on. So I'm sure that was what my issue was. So I'm going to try and get this all back together. And then adjust it where it's not so tight and see if that helps with it. So, yeah, this sucks. I hate drums. If anyone wants to donate a disc breaker in, let me know. That'd be awesome. So, I'm going to get this put on. Alright, guys, so got the spring back on and adjusted it so it's a little looser now. So now it spins. Doesn't seem like it's making the noise anymore. So, gonna head and get the wheels back on it and the truck on the ground right now. Alright, guys, so truck's back on the ground and everything. I'm not gonna put these little cap things on these just because I make, I feel like they make them look weird. So, I'm gonna leave them like that. What? The camber? The camber? A little bit. Can y'all see it on camera? Oh, no. It's the eye of the tiger. So, yeah. So, now we can wash up and get started with what we actually have planned for the day. Originally? Yeah. Um, we're going to take some scrapping that we have and then we're going to go to junkyard and get hopefully some parts for his truck, my truck. And guys, we're just going to have a Chevy S10 kind of day. That's pretty much how it is. Yeah, it's been a while since I've had a Chevy day. Lately, it's been a lot of... Well, no, I just had the video I put out of lowering the truck. So, guys, I know you guys are asking about the quarter panel. About your truck? Yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. 
Brian's gonna talk to you guys in a second about a swap idea he's having for his truck. But um I'll let you do the talk if they want to see it on your channel. Alright. But for the accord, I have done a little more work on it. It's just like I always say, um between me working and him working, our days off are different. So it's hard for AJ to help me do work, so I went over there yesterday because I was off and messed with it for a little bit, got a little footage. But it's not enough to make a video. Like, I'm trying to make a video of, like, the whole thing installed. So, all we got left to make the next video is do some, a little more welding on it, a little more banging and straightening out some panels, and then make some body fill on it, sand it down, and then, like, quarter panels installed. And that's going to be the end of that one. And then we'll go on to, like, the body work and stuff. And then... Two other things. Should I paint the Accord or should I get it wrapped? Let me know down in the comments because I really think I'm going to wrap it just because there's so many different colors I want the car to be and I think it'll be easier to just wrap it. And if that's the case, either I'll find someone that will wrap it for me or maybe we'll try it, you know? Yeah, so. And for Brian, what he wanted to talk about or have me ask you guys, he's going to be doing the 3.8. 3-4 swap in his S10, his first gen, the one that we welded the diff in, and the one I did the burnout earlier. Um, should I make a video of it and put it on my channel? Or should we both do a video? He'll have one on his channel and one on my channel. Because, I mean, I guess we're kind of like growing as a channel all together. Because a lot of our, my videos have his stuff in it, and yeah, I mean, we had the Miata in it, we had Tucker's S10 in it, so it's kind of like we're like the little S10 drift crew. And Bradley did get an S10. He's got a first gen, correct? Yeah, he bought a 92... 92... 2.8? Truck's fucking... 2.8 five speed truck. Yeah, but he, yeah, the transmission died on the way home. Yeah. He's waiting on the new one the last I heard. So, yeah guys. Let me know about that. But, we're gonna load this up, take us some scrap, and then we'll catch you guys at the junkyard. Alright guys, so we just dropped off the scrap that we had. And then we saw this burnt tip from a distance. And we pulled it out of the junk pile over here. It's a full exhaust for something. Brian just wants to see how much they want for it. I'll probably buy this if it's a good price. And I can use like this piece here for like the S10. And I can I'll probably use this one for the Accord. Let me see how much they want for that. They don't want too much for this. I'll pick that up. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. A lot of the stuff's new too. This looks like it's new. Like. I mean, it's used obviously, but I'm saying it's in like really good shape. So, see how much they want for this. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna pick them up. I don't have all the cash on me now, so we're gonna put them there. And I told them I'd come back next week on my next day off and pick them up. So we're gonna grab them. So we're gonna go run around the yard a little more and see what else we can find. Alright, guys, so <clears throat> the truck's still making that noise. I think it's the drive shaft hitting up on towards the transmission. So. Yeah, we're going to start digging into this truck a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put the Accord back together how it sits right now just so it has something to drive. This motor sounds like it's about to like completely blow up. Where the Accord sits now, I can kind of like throw the taillights and rear bumper on and drive it. It's like 80 to 90% welded all the way on. Just a few more places need to be welded, grinded, and stuff like that. So that's what's going to happen. <coughs> and this truck's probably going to get a V8 swap. So I'll be pulling the motor out of this real soon. All I have to do is get the T2 conversion mounts. Because the mounts for the 4.3s and 2.3s two two are totally different when you put a V8 in the second gens. Alright. Yeah. I don't do AutoZone. I do O'Reilly's boy. Usually I do too. With them, they're like, oh, you gotta go to AutoZone. Well. Yeah, you can use 2.8 frame mounts. Yeah. Just bolt on. So, Brian's gonna do the honors and start this truck up. Oh, shit. And. Let you guys hear it. Why don't you be completely quiet now? Right? It's a Chevy thing. They always make like crazy noise and they're quiet. Your truck did it too. <laughs> kind of making it, right? Okay. Not as loud as earlier. I don't know if you can hear it on audio. But it's knocking and the valve is tapping. So, it's not a TBI. Mine used to, but 
yeah, we're going to let it cool down a little bit, and I'm going to start digging into it a little bit. Not too much. The EGR? Yeah. Yeah, I know. So if your source, he doesn't have one, I'm like, uh... They all do. That's why I'm like, uh... But, alright guys, so, we're going to get digging into this truck. Today, he totally gone unplanned. Slightly. <laughs> alright guys, so, we decided what we're going to do. Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> We're gonna say, forget about this knocking sound or whatever is going on with it. <laughs> this is going near the truck, and that's all I'm gonna say. All right, we're gonna start tearing into this truck and stuff. He's got a spare turbo laying around. I got piping. I got this. I got a lot of turbo stuff from the Accord. And yes, the Accord's getting turboed again, but no, I'm not using all the old turbo stuff because I'm going all brand new for the Accord. Um, I got the wide band in there and the boost gauge and stuff. So we're gonna blow this thing up. We're gonna blow up this tutu. Uh, obviously, it all won't be done in this video, but you'll see some of it, like getting this all off, mocking up the inner cooler. Um, we're going to probably pull off some AC stuff and things out of the way. Um, get rid of the intake setup. So yeah, get rid of the intake setup. We're going to pull the AC stuff off since it, it'll be in the way. It's in the way. The AC does work in this truck, but you guys do know this is the drift truck. Yes, I do have a V8 for this truck. I didn't want to tell a lot of people. I got a 327 that's going in this truck, and I have a LT1 T56 that's going to be going in it. So this 2-2 to me really don't mean much. Plus it's on its last leg. Like, yeah. not going to sell it. So we were going to do a compression test on it, but what's the point? Just just have fun and it'll tell us the compression when it's over. So <laughs> if it doesn't sing around. If ride. anybody needs any parts off the 2-2, let us know. Like AC stuff. Um, factory intake. Yeah, the factory intake. Tubing at least because we're going to need throttle body and such. Yeah. Like, and when it does blow up, other stuff that's still salvageable. If it even does blow up, who knows? Maybe boosting is going to just... Throw everything back in place. <laughs> Who knows? It might just uh, uh, it might just first fire up choke. Yeah. So enjoy this time lapse, guys. Alright, so got the AC stuff out, well, the compressor's out, a lot of the line, this is all loose. Yeah, we just gotta loosen it from up here. Take this bracket off, and then the AC will be completely deleted. Well, 90%. And then mm. I'll probably end up disconnecting the battery because we're gonna move the ECU, we're gonna remove a couple other stuff. That's gonna be a pain because you gotta undo that fender. Fenders are easy to take off. Yeah. Especially when you have power tools. But I'm actually going to run up to the parts store. Oh, I don't need it right the second. No. But i am got to go pick up a AC, uh, non-AC belt now. So. Luckily they have one. And definitely get some brake cleaner to clean this all up. So, yeah, we're going to keep tearing stuff apart. Alright guys, so we got the rest of the AC line off. I wish I was recording because um, Brian kind of slipped his face on the hood. Yeah, we were trying to break that that line right there loose. It broke and I, my face went BAM! So right now we're going to heat this up a little bit like that. And we're just going to try and cut through this here. So cut about right here.
things don't do with our thing. <laughs> Of course, it's always that last. I'm telling you. And that is not trash. Actually, that looks pretty straight, too. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you fucked this up. Oh well. Alright, guys, so that's cut out. Not the prettiest, but it just gotta do its job, which is hold the radiator. Hold the radiator back. We'll probably end up zip tying it still to it. You know? Right there. And the radiator ain't going to any place. What? But right there. So. Yeah, what we're going to end up doing now. I guess we can pretty much pop the manifold off? Um. Yeah, we're going to pull like. If I didn't take pop, so but. Like. We're gonna have to re readjust the throttle cable. Probably end up running it the other way. We just zip tie it like that. Yeah, just zip tie it there. Is there like maybe two holes here? We'll yeah. Through it. Yeah, that um, actually works. Factory yeah. relocation. But we're gonna start cleaning up the harness. Maybe? Yeah. Clean up. Wow. Out of this crap that's in the way, and then get these brackets off. Well, that'll come off of the header. Yeah, and then party on both the exhaust and get the manifold off and try and get it flipped. And then a few other little things we'll try and get to. I mean, we don't have the other turbo here and stuff, so we got to get that. And then we got to get the flange, which I have one for it. Hopefully, if not, we can make one. Yeah, if not, we can make a flange. I mean, that's pretty simple. This is just a budget turbo build for Ghetto this truck. I mean, we're trying to keep it on the sixty bucks a turbo truck. Reason being, we have a lot of the stuff. I have, you know, intercooler. I have piping. I have exhaust and stuff. I have oil lines and fittings and the drain and return and everything. I got all the oil lines. I got almost everything. He's got a turbo and a couple of little things. I have an FMU if we need it. Um, I should be able to use a sock map because it's not going to be high on boost. It's going to so, be less than 10 pounds. Yeah, probably like 8 pounds or so, whatever it is. If that turbo's not blown, too. Internal, external wastegated. External. External wastegated turbo. So, I mean, I have an 8 pound spring oh, wait. here. I don't honestly remember. It's off on a Mark III one JZ Super Turbo motor, the factory twins they run. I think they're internal. I think so, actually. But, all right, guys. So we're gonna get busting on some more of this stuff. All right, guys. So a little bit of an update. We got the radiator out. Oh. <laughs> we got the truck up on jack stands. He's pulling this plastic trim piece out so we can get the condenser out, and then. Oh, we got to wow. get this hose out the way, and then there's underneath here somewhere there's the, where the right. heater core line goes to. I see it right there. These are just push pins. So. And then get all the heater lines off and everything. But yeah, I got AC compressor, AC lines over there. If anyone needs any parts, okay. let me know. Just comment below or hit me up on Instagram. The magnet pulled all the sockets out. <laughs> And there we go. Let's say, is that a 10 mil? 14. So, yeah. Next thing is, we're going to, after we get this all out, we're going to pull the exhaust off. And then, hopefully we can get this manifold flipped and stuff and try to figure out how we're going to mock up the turbo. Um, Alright guys, so, get the manifold and everything off. The full exhaust is off. It's all back here. Um... Idea, Kyle. Our idea that we were going to use was take the manifold and flip it and then like run the pipe over and mount the turbo like in this general area right here. But I guess the pattern on it offset. they offset a little bit, and from underneath, you couldn't really tell. But anyway, hold that as you can see, they go like they're not straight up and down, they got to like they're off a little bit so that's not going to work the idea with that which that would have been awesome if it did work because a lot of GM vehicles actually you can flip the manifolds there's a lot of carbon build up in these I'd say so but um what we're going to do instead we're going to put it back on and we're going to try and run the pipe down around and out through like right in here and then bring the pipe up right in here well the flange on both the turbo up so on and so on so we'll get it 
yeah, I think we're going to call it a night where we sit now and pick up again tomorrow, son. But that's going to be the end of this video. So stay tuned for the next video after this one, guys. Hope you guys are excited for this budget turbo build on the 22S10. So either the motor is going to make it or it's going to break it. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Hit the notification button and stay tuned for more updates. Later.